congratulations in having a film here at the Toronto International Film Festival. Before we do that, you, sir, congratulations, because I do believe you've got a big honor that's coming up very soon, much deserved. No big deal, just a can of walk of fame. Uh, uh, well, yeah, man, thank you very much. Man, you know, you and I go way back, so I am so happy to see all the things that you're doing. But what you're doing here now with the Toronto International Film Festival, I think it's an amazing thing. What is this short film called and what is it about? It's called Quiet Mind, Silent Streets. It is directed by Karen Chapman. Sarah and I produced it. Um, and it is from our organization. Sarah produces Operation Prefrontal Cortex with me and our other partner, Dell. And we partnered with Headspace to make this documentary about a community here in Toronto, Malton, really rocked by gun violence. Um, you know, not safe to go outside sometimes, literally. And the kids started meditating and transforms them, right? So that that is what the, in a nutshell, that's what the movie's about. When did you hear about this story and your thoughts going to the process of putting this all together? Yeah, so this is, this is interesting. The, the operation really started for, do you want me to take it? All right, okay. Uh, the operation, uh, we, we started our organization um, at the end of 2018 um, when Toronto experienced its most violent year. Um, and uh, throughout that year, uh, it, what, what happened from that was exited a, a TEDx talk called The Message to the Man Who Shot Me, having experienced gun violence himself. And it really created, um, a, it got a lot of attention. And what happened in the summer of 2019 is uh, a, a boy by the name of Jonathan Davis, who's 17 years old, got struck in one of Ontario's worst mass, worst mass shootings and was killed. Um, and this community was deeply impacted by that. And a, a teacher that had already had been implementing meditation with her students saw the TED Talk, showed it to her students, and they reached out to us. So that's where this all, this all originated. And so from there, you know, we had uh, the generous contribution of Headspace and, and their partnership on this to make the film. So. I'm curious, though, so I'm assume you had a chance to talk to the kids who were involved with this. What was their experience like with this and being involved with this program? Well, they, they, they talk about what meditation did for them. Again, this wasn't a program. This wasn't something. It's the beauty of the film. They did it themselves. We'll try that. And then they did it. And they saw what happened with how they dealt with things, how the stress of the world they're living in. And just, it just transformed them. Right, and they became advocates for what meditation can do. So, it's, and you, it's in the documentary. You see it. Um, it's transformative. It's very moving. For you, what was it like for those children to talk and see them on the screen and talking about their feelings and what's going on in the world, but knowing that somehow they can control their feelings in doing this process? Uh, I was really deeply moved making this film. Um, they, there's, there's some really sage wisdom that comes from these very young people who have uh, experienced incredible trauma and have done something to, to help themselves cope through that um, and it was a really beautiful experience. There were many times while we were doing the interviews on set where I found myself moved to tears. Um, often our subjects did too because it's a uh, you know it was um, a deeply deeply impactful experience and meeting everybody in the community hearing their stories hearing that it wasn't just this one event that had happened in the community that every single one of them had an experience with gun violence that predated this. Um, often multiples, uh, losing brothers, cousins, family members, um, siblings, friends. And, friends. Um, and, and so th th there was a, a, a great impact. And the, the mentors that we have in the community that are guiding these kids actually lost their friends when they were 15. They were playing basketball at the community center. Um, their, one of their close friends was killed. Um, wrong, wrong place, wrong time. And, uh, and then they decided after, after this happened in 2019 to come back and, and mentor these youth that they knew what the experience was like and help them through this. So it's really beautiful. You said before we even started, this was the most important film that you ever put together. Why? Because this, this has real impact in the real world. It's great to make entertainment and, you know, have fun and there's really impactful things and important things that people can, you know, that movie was the thing and that song, the, the stuff we do in the entertainment business does become a part of people's lives. But this is directly affecting how people can deal with the world, right? There's a kid who's going to watch this film and say, I'm going to try it and everything that comes with it, right? And it, it just makes it important and to have these skill sets and be able to put this into something like this that really has a positive impact on the world is important to us. 
congratulations on this film. Cannot wait to see it here at TIFF. And I'll see you at Canada's Walk of Fame, too, on that red carpet. Congratulations on this. Thank you so much.